Then a rooster crow in 6 a.m. Black rifle coffee, a few good friends. Watching the sun rise in a deer stand. Hell yeah, that's my kind of country. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark Church. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a right pretty day outside here. And it's a little warm. It's plum hot in the shop. We're going to try something a little different here with the electroculture today. Now, I've never tried this. Don't think I've ever seen anybody else try. So it's something new. Stick around a little while. We'll see how this goes. And probably be something that we'll keep our eye on throughout the summer as the plants are growing. What I've got here is some galvanized steel. It's uh, like a guide wire. We're gonna make us a couple of the electroculture antennas out of this galvanized steel. I've never seen it done anywhere else. May not work, and it might work just the same. If y'all got any ideas, put them down in the comments. I love reading about it. That's how we're gonna learn anything about this electroculture, is by all of us working together. I'm trying to show everybody what I'm doing here. I'm trying to show the results of everything that I do. If you've seen a video that I haven't updated that you're wondering about, put it down in the comments. I'll try to make a video about it because I've done several different tests around here. I may have missed something and y'all can let me know if I have. I'd like to ask you if you're new here to hit the subscribe button. And y'all don't forget the thumbs up or the thumbs down and sharing the video. The sharing the video, I think, helps more than anything. I'm just an old country boy here, just trying to show you what I'm doing. If it'll help somebody, I thank God for it. Y'all come along with me. We'll get this wound up and take it out here in the garden, and I'll show you what I'm going to put it on. This stuff's pretty stiff. It's going to be pretty hard to wind. We're just going to make two of these. I've already done one of them. And the way I done it was I clamped this down in the vise. Let's see, I got it turned wrong. This end down here will be the end that I'm gonna stick in the ground. Now we have to wrap this counterclockwise that will give us a clockwise turn on our coils. Now, I've had a few people tell me that the clockwise isn't right, but everybody last year told me that clockwise is the way I need it wound, and that's how I'm winding them. If you, if you know that I'm doing it wrong, leave me a link or something to where I can go look at it and see. The majority of all the ones that I do here are going to be wound clockwise. Drops that tailgate down Out yonder where the black top ends Fills up a Dixie cup of black label Hands it out to all your friends Then boy you better hold on Now, I need to bend this straight up And put a tip on the antenna That's not the prettiest one in the world, but I think it'll work. I've got another one already made over here. So let's go out to the garden and put these in. Right here is an electroculture that I don't think I've shown on YouTube. So this is the first time anybody's gonna see this one. And I've got a little bit of a comparison that we can do between this one and another plant. Right here, this is a mini tomato plant. Right here is the electroculture coil in here. You can see how healthy and green that plant is. Right up here, I've got another mini tomato plant. There's a little bit of difference between these two plants. This one here has plenty of fertilizer in it, as does the one back here. This one here 
don't have as much space for the roots. So that could be part of the difference. Right here it is. It's in a little three-tier pot. Now it's got some pretty little tomatoes on it, but you can tell it's not as big and healthy of a plant as the other one back there. And they're both the exact same age. Those little pots right there, they're from the Dollar Tree. So if y'all like them, you can pick them up at the Dollar Tree. For the things we may have coming in the country, I'm experimenting with all kinds of different things. I've got all the room in the world to grow out here in the soil that God has given us. But I practice in these pots back here just in case I'm ever in the situation that I have to grow in pots. We don't know what the future holds. I may have to load the truck bed down with a bunch of pots and plant in those to keep them mobile. We don't know the way things are going. Who knows? I think we're going to try this electroculture on these peanuts. I don't know that I've shown these in a video yet, but these are our peanuts. Now these right here are green beans. But in the spots where the green beans didn't come up, I've got peanuts. These tomatoes are cadillac -ing. They are looking good. These right here are Tommy Toe tomatoes. These three in the cages. We've had a lot of controversy in the comments on the electroculture, whether it needs to be on the north side or the south side. So we're going to try both ways with this. On these peanuts here, I'm going to put it on the north side. We'll move on down the row here. And on the other peanuts, we'll put it on the south side. These peanuts, I need to get the hole on them. They need thinned out just a little bit. We're going to put it right here on the south side. I may have to get a stob out here to hold them up straight. So here's what we're looking like. This is the one on the south side of the peanuts. Here's the one on the north side. I've had a lot of comments, good and bad, about electroculture. Some people tell me that I'm just silly for trying it. Others agree with it. And a lot's just up in the air like me. They just want to see whether it works or not. And that's what it's all about for me, just to experiment and see if it's actually helping or not. Last year, it seemed to help plants. I have a few people wanting to know exactly what it does, and I can't explain exactly what it does. I've tried, from what I understand, it collects energy from the atmosphere and directs it down into the soil for the plants to use. I don't know whether that's called ions or what it's called, actually, but that's the best that I can explain it. My main goal here on YouTube is to try to get people to prepare for the future. We don't know what the future holds, but God had to bless me with this channel. Otherwise, I could have never started it. I've never been a person to stand in front of anybody and speak, so it has to be from God. God knows what the future holds. We know we have to eat, and if we can supply that food for ourselves, that's just so much better. It's cheaper food, it's better food, and you know how to control it. You don't have to have a supply line to bring it to you whenever you grow it right here in your own yard. I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. I pray God blesses you, and I'll see you in the next one.